So Issa, just coming off the back of that Bournemouth game on Saturday, you've had a couple of days now to reflect on that. What are the feelings after that one? Uh, we are a bit disappointed because we didn't take the, the three point at home. I think uh, we started the game very bad. Then we came back on it. Then after the goal, we, we drop again. And then the, the second half was much better. You mentioned it there. We um, obviously went behind twice, but I suppose the positive is that we came back from it twice. We showed the character to come back, right? Yeah, exactly. I think since the, the beginning of the season, we we showed a lot of character. So that's a good thing now. We just need to, to score first and then keep a clean sheet. And that was your second league start for Fulham, your first at Craven Cottage. How did you enjoy the experience of playing at Craven Cottage? Yeah, it was a very good experience. Very good. Uh, I was very happy. Obviously, not like fully happy because we didn't win, but I think uh, it will be the case on, on Thursday. And it was your 100th Premier League appearance as well. Um, you had 100% dribbles completed, you had 100% tackles won in that game, so it was a good game for you stats-wise as well. Were you happy with your performance? <laughs> not really, because we conceded two goals, so I'm never happy when we concede goals. So I think, as I said, uh, we're going to keep uh, the clean sheet for, uh, for the next game. You also did score a goal though, so it must have been nice for you to get that first Fulham goal. Yeah, yeah, I'm very. I was very happy to score my, my first goal for the club, and uh, I hope it's the the first of a lot of coming. Can you just talk us through? Because I've seen it. You do it on media day, and then at the game the other day, the triangle celebration. Is there a meaning behind that? Is there a reason? Yeah, you do that? yeah. It's a, a sign for for my two best friends. Who, who play football as well. So when they score and when I score, I do that. We, we, we're doing that since the academy. So yeah, it's just a sign for them. OK. Um, and we've also obviously got some specialists from a dead ball situation, Andreas, Niskins, Harry, etc. So, I mean, that means for you, I suppose, in the box, you know that there's an opportunity like that's going to come and you might get some goals this season from that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as you said, we've, we've got like some fantastic takers. So... It's much more easier for us to 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 score because we know that the ball is going to arrive. So if we don't score, it's is our fault. And our next up on Thursday, we have Aston Villa at the cottage again. Um, I'm we need the fans behind us again in their loud noise, won't we? Yeah, because uh, everyone knows that uh, it's always a, a plus when when your fans are behind you, and uh, obviously it's a hard place to come and. And, and to, to beat us, so we need them. And Villa have um, struggled a bit recently, but they've shown themselves to be a good team. And even on Sunday against Chelsea, I don't know if you saw it, but they were threatening and they were, they're were they going to be a tough team, aren't they? Yeah, of course. There is no easy game in this league. And even more against uh, Villa, uh, we know their strength. We know they've got like, a lot of quality players, so it's going to be a battle. We're ready for that and I hope we, we're going to take the three points. It's a big week for us this week. We're then Leeds on Sunday, so that's two games in four days. It's a good chance for us to hopefully pick up some more points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we we just want to we just want to win both game, and uh, I hope this is where where we're gonna do.